After a few days in Quartzite, it is time to move on. Today, the road will take us all the way south to the Mexican border. We're going to explore Organ Pipe National Monument. This is almost bucket list. Then east towards Tucson. We'll go up to Mount Lemon to see the snow and to Saguaro National Park to see more cacti. Then Picacho Peak State Park, where we're going to climb all the way to the top in another action-packed episode in the land of the saguaro cactus. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV wherever I want to be, because I'm free in my RV. Well, on the road again. Today we begin another section, another phase of this uh, trip here. Uh, we're gonna go down to Gila, Gila Bend, to Gila Bend, uh, to what used to be the Gila Bend KOA is now this. The, it's called the Sonoran Desert RV Resort. You know, one night with full hookups, good power, hopefully good internet, and then we're going down to Oregon Pipe. I'll be honest, I was starting to get a little bit antsy. I'm really not used to staying in one place for too long, so after five days boondocking in the desert, I'm glad to be moving again. Apparently, while it was raining in Quartzite, it was snowing in the mountains. These huge power lines are coming from the Palo Verde nuclear plant, the largest one in the USA, and oddly enough, the only large nuclear power plant in the world that is not located near a large body of water. And here's where we turn south, towards Gila Bend. And here we are. You can tell this used to be a KOA. I mean, they still have the yellow golf carts. Well, here we are, Sonoran Desert RV Park. And uh, let me tell you, I love boondocking in the desert, but there's something to be said for full hookups. And uh, this used to be the, I think the Gila Bend KOA. Uh, I guess it's not a KOA anymore, but I'm gonna stay here one night. Uh, and it was like 50 bucks. I know it's a little pricey, but I just wanted to have one day with nice full hookups at a nice place like this. I stayed here two years ago and at some point we have to wash this truck, but oh, look at that. fighter jets. Mm, there they are. There must be a base nearby. Well, indeed, there's the Gila Bend Air Force Auxiliary Airport. We're going to Mexico! Well, almost. And here's another one of those border patrol checkpoints. You always encounter them near the border. Always, as you drive away from the border. And this one is pretty busy. The landscape is starting to look promising. Mexican influence is palpable this close to the border. 
There's even a whole industry dedicated to selling you insurance for Mexico. Ajo here seems to be a cool town, picturesque. I'll make sure to visit on the way back. This looks like another checkpoint, but there's no one here. I'm thinking that's gotta be the garlic-shaped mountain called Ajo. Yeah, Ajo. That's how you say garlic in Spanish. Look at this. Ajo. Yeah, it looks like a garlic, kind of. Take a look at this place, all this cacti. We must be getting close. In fact, here we are. Well, here we are. This is uh, Oregon Pipe National Monument, and uh, isn't this like one of the coolest campsites we've ever stayed at? I mean, I have this ginormous saguaro cactus here. That's a jumping choya. Be very careful. It looks very prickly, and it is. Of course, there's a giant saguaro behind it. And here's the rooftop view. It is a great campground, actually. The one thing to be aware of is no hookups. It is primitive, and I only managed to get a site in the no generator area, which can be a good thing. This place has been on my list for a very long time. For good reason, I see. And we haven't even begun to explore. Here's my giant saguaro. All right, off we go. Ajo Mountain Scenic Drive. And there are three picnic areas, one of which has pet toilets. All right, let's do it. As I mentioned, we are doing Ajo Mountain Drive on the eastern part of the park. It should take uh, two to three hours to do the whole loop. More if I decide to do any hikes, which I might. And there's a sign you don't see every day. Here we've got more information, which by the way, maximum vehicle length of 25 feet on this road. And that usually means something exciting up ahead. Hiking trails Old Country Road, Arch Canyon, and Estes Canyon. Concentration of saguaro and organ pipe. Mm -hmm. Views into Mexico. All right. And uh, so we're here. We're gonna do this, and then we have uh, Arch Canyon, bull, bull Pasture, and where's the other one? And I guess from here, we'll be able to see Mexico. Pretty cool. The saguaro cactus is such a fascinating plant, right? Some of them almost look like people. Let's see what this is. That's that historic county road trail, but that's kind of long. Eight miles is more than we want to do today. But yeah, that's it. A 
it's about to get real. What a fabulously beautiful place this is. As I've said, this has been on the list for many many years and it certainly doesn't disappoint. And there goes the border patrol once again. I've seen quite a few of them. Look at that, it's a double arch. Here's the trailhead, so let's park and do at least part of the trail. All right, let's go on a little hike. We're gonna do the Arch Canyon Trail and yeah, there's a, there. There's a, a small arch, very delicate arch and that's um, what we're gonna do. I don't see uh, much information about the trail, but in the map it seemed like a mile maybe. I mean, I have some water. If it, if it starts getting colder, it might be an issue because I only brought this t-shirt. <laughs> Here we go, Arch Canyon Trail. Okay, it is easy to moderate or maintain the trail distance. Round trip, 1.2 miles, that's nothing. But I imagine that's only the maintained trail hood, which goes up to here. Then if you want to go up to the arch, mm, we might, we might not go all the way up to the arch. I'm really glad I'm being able to take advantage of this today because we've got rain coming tomorrow, at least that's the forecast. Yeah, that's a choya cactus. Whenever you're doing one of these trails, never forget to look back because sometimes the best, the best views are back there. Although in this case, <laughs> here's looking back once again. It is actually pretty impressive. Now listen, you could almost hear a pin drop, so silent out here.
we should go a little farther up just to see. Arch Canyon Trail, let's do it. I must say, it is getting a little sketchy. It's getting steeper and steeper. It is supposed to be pretty strenuous from here on, so I'm just gonna do a little bit as, as far as I feel comfortable. It will be cool to see the arch, but, which is right up there, I think. So it's not that far away, it's just the incline. I'm not gonna do it. You see, it is not the, the kind of trail that I want to do all by myself up here. If I slip and fall, there's a signal. There. And it's pretty steep. It's not like easy. It's technical. There's the arch up there. So we're kind of behind it here. It's like a bunch of tiny little arches. It would have been really cool to go all the way up there, but not today. Let's get back down. It's an amazing hike. Oh, look at that. Look at that rock. So many unique rock formations. Let me tell you, I am so glad we came here and did this hike. And look at all the cacti. That is amazing. Late afternoon light definitely adds to the experience of being here in this unique part of the planet. Oh, the treacherous Choya and the arch. Well, yeah, that was a great trail. Organ pipe so far has not disappointed. Beautiful place and that uh, that arch up there. Uh, that's it. It's just beautiful. And too bad we're running out of daylight here. Well, we still we still have, have like two hours left, but we still have about an hour left of road to go back to. So let's continue. Well, that hike ended up being one hour. <laughs> I think I could, I could pull forward here. Let's continue. The Ajo Mountain Road. There's that other trailhead coming up. It's too bad it is too late in the day to do that hike. But let's stop real quick and check it out. We can do it tomorrow, maybe. This is going to be another awesome hike. I mean, take a look at this place. They seem to glow in the afternoon light, right? And tomorrow? Tomorrow we're going all the way up there.
back at the campground we are, just in time for sunset. I've got a feeling we're going to have one of those spectacular desert sunsets. It is quite an amazing phenomenon how the desert lights up at this time of the day. How the mountains seem to glow with this crimson hue. That's all the time we have left this week. On the next episode, we'll continue exploring the land of the Sawaro cactus. Until then, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road.